Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. And today, you know what time it is. It is time to wrap up the month with December favorites. The video where I share with you all of the skincare and beauty products that made a big impression on me this month. If you are so ready to find out what those products are, give the video a big thumbs up and let's jump right in. So first up, Purito Oat in Silky Toner. That's right, Purito has a brand new moisturizing toner. Now this is a category of product that has been getting more and more popular ever since Laneige Cream Skin Refiner hit the scene a couple years ago. You know, that product is so iconic, it is so popular, and there are a lot of products that are kind of following in its footsteps. Certainly not knockoffs, but definitely that product category has opened up a lot. And I have to Say my skin loves it. <laughs> you know, I love a good moisturizing toner slash essence product, and I am a huge fan of Laneige Cream Skin Refiner and have been for many years. It's a product that my skin particularly likes in winter time. But there's one thing about that product that I uh, often say, which is that you know, when my skin is really dry, it accepts that product so well, it feels so good. But if my skin is a little bit more combination, maybe leaning on the oily side, maybe it's a little bit like hot and humid outside or maybe I've applied a little bit more product than I needed. At that point, Laneige Cream Skin Refiner can sometimes feel a little too rich on the skin or maybe even a little bit greasy. There's a fine line, just my personal experience, a fine line with that product. And so I absolutely love it in winter, but you know, it's not perfect for me in all seasons. Now let's talk about this new Oat in Silky Toner from Purito because this actually has a lot of similarities with cream skin, especially in the formulation. A lot of the moisture is coming from the same shared ingredient between the two, which is Meadow Foam Seed Oil, which I love that. I, I find it to be really nicely moisturizing on the skin. But I think the hero here is combining it with the oats because oats on their own, they have a great soothing ability for skin skin, especially sensitive skin. They can help calm down itchiness and irritation and redness, but it brings its own non-greasy, not overly rich moisture to the skin. In that sense, it actually reminds me a lot of like rice products. You know how rice really conditions, softens, and moisturizes your skin, but it just never feels heavy and it doesn't have like a greasy factor to it. So there's oat kernel, oat water, and beta-glucan, which is derived from oats in this formula. Now, beta-glucan is such a great hydrator for the skin. It's great for supporting your skin's moisture barrier, very gentle, but again, very hydrating. So all in all, the way that they formulated this, you get this watery toner sensation that brings some hydration to your skin, but then with that oat content and the meadow foam seed oil, it moisturizes, it, feel, it like fills your pores with this non-greasy moisture. It doesn't leave you shiny at the top. It doesn't feel like it fills your skin with moisture, but it doesn't feel like a heavy layer sitting on top of your skin. You know how sometimes I'll say a product moisturizes inside, but not on the top. That's exactly what this does. It dives deep to replenish the skin, to moisturize it, but it doesn't like sit as a film on top of the skin. And in fact, I've actually layered this under my skin like two, three times, and it doesn't build up in that heaviness either. So I really love the texture of this so, so much. Like no greasiness, no stickiness, no thickness in sight. They've done such a good job on this. Can't really see it too much. The logo or the, the title of the product is like embossed on the bottle itself. So it has the name and it has Purito and everything on here. It's not just this plain bottle. And when you first get it, it comes with a paper tag that tells you the instructions and the ingredients on it because it is quite resource intensive to recycle bottles with labels on them. So they've completely cut the label out. The paper that comes on here with the ingredients and everything, that's totally recyclable. And then the bottle itself is actually made out of other plastic um, that they have turned into a, a new plastic bottle. It's called CR50 uh, plastic. So they've really thought a couple of steps ahead with the sustainability of their product, which I think is really cool. I think it's something more brands should start to embrace. And 
And yeah, that's part of the reason why it looks quite plain, but there's a really nice reason behind it. Next up, Swanee Coco Swan Cream Extra Hydrating. Now, just a quick heads up so that you know, um, I did do a sponsorship with Stylevana and Swanee Coco last month in November, and I did talk about this product, and that's how I received this product. This video is not sponsored. The talking about this product is not obligated. That sponsorship is completely done and over with, but I always like to tell you about that, especially if I talk about something that was sponsored, like recently, I always like you to know about that. So just so you know, not sponsored. And I honestly wouldn't take sponsorships for products that I don't believe in, that I don't like, and that I don't actually use. And this is one of the products from Swanee Coco that I tried out for that video that I fell real deeply in love with really fast. And I wasn't sure when I first picked this out if I was actually even going to like it. And it was really based on the name, Extra Hydrating. Now there's always this argument in the skincare community, not an argument, maybe more like a philosophical debate about the meanings of the words hydration and moisture. I know that it is incredibly confusing and I think that there's actually a lot of different ways that you can approach, you know, what does hydrating mean and what does moisturizing mean and what, what are the differences between those two words. They do seem to get used interchangeably. Um, I personally will, will share with you my thoughts on this is hydrating really refers to something watery, something that maybe plumps up your skin, um, but definitely has more of a humectant base in the skincare. Where moisturizing, again, in, in my viewpoint, moisturizing is more about emollients, oils, richness. That's what moisture means to me. And that's how I separate the two, the two words. Based on that terminology, extra hydrating in a moisturizer to me sounds like a gel cream. It sounds like something that has more of that humectant watery type of base to it. So I was like, I really want to try this because Swan Cream is something that I've heard about for many years from Swanee Coco. It's very popular, but I'm not sure if it's going to be right for my skin. And I definitely don't think it's going to be right for this season where we're we're starting to get all of the winter temperatures and everything right so it actually it just snowed the other day and I was like oh, I had to go out and shovel and it was just like my face was like going numb and it was getting like really cold and I was like oh my gosh I'm gonna need some real moisturizing skincare after this but I digress this product is not like extra hydrating it is like extra moisturizing it is so emollient it is so creamy it's got a richness to it it has an occlusivity to it that I was not expecting but I love it. I love it. My skin is enjoying this moisturizer so, so much. I was really surprised at how much moisture it brings to the skin because I will say, this is not a hard and fast rule, but I do think that a lot of K-Beauty moisturizers, the majority of them, really walk the line between really moisturizing and like lighter. I think that they excel really well in medium weight moisturizers, but they don't always go into the, the heavier, richer moisturizing category too often. It's just like not as popular maybe but this kind of starts to lean more into that more rich category and I really love that. There are a lot of oils in here. We have argan oil, we have olive oil, macadamia seed oil, and they play like full out in this formulation. They really bring a ton of moisture to the skin. It's got this rich buttery type of texture to it. It's not a stiff cream necessarily, but it's got this richness that just melts right into your skin deeply moisturizes it with this richness, this great comforting moisture. And even so, it's not greasy. Even with all those oils, I don't get that shiny film on top of my skin. It's got such good absorbency, such a luxurious texture. It feels amazing on the skin. And then when it, once it is absorbed, you actually feel a nice amount of occlusivity. And for me and my skin, that is the key to fighting dehydration and like extreme dryness in winter time because the air around me is so dry. I'm telling you, I was like shoveling outside for an hour and the wind was like whipping at my face, like trying to dry it out and assault my skin. <laughs> But a really good moisturizer with occlusivity actually really hugs in all the hydration, all the moisture, and actually helps to protect your skin from like wind and a dry environment. It's like a mini barrier on your skin. So it's really essential to find that in a wintertime moisturizer. And I was really surprised that this has good occlusivity, richness, moisture, a luxurious silky texture. It's actually a really good price point too. This cream is under $20, which I think is great. So I've been using this a lot. I've been loving this so, so much. And bonus, 
it is so moisturizing it leaves your skin so silky soft next up neod non-acid precursor and let me tell you i was so excited to get this i've had my eye on it for a really long time and i've been waiting <laughs> for the Slovember sale. This is a product that claims to bring the benefits of chemical exfoliation, particularly like AHAs. It claims to help um, with dead skin cell shedding and help turn over those dead skin cells for fresher, brighter skin. And it also claims to have benefits like, um, like retinol. So it claims AHA and retinol-like benefits, but it also claims that it's a lot gentler than those products are. First and foremost, it really delivers on the claim of being a gentler alternative. I definitely think it is because this did not irritate my skin at all. I was really surprised by that. And I do wanna note that like, we're at the end of December now, I've been using this for just about a month and a half, right? During some of the colder temperatures uh, and it's been snowing, it's been windy, it's been cold, it's been icy. My skin gets pretty dry during this season. It gets a lot more sensitive and more prone to irritation. So the fact that this is actually not irritating my skin at this point in time says a lot about how gentle this product can be on the skin. So I definitely think that this delivers on that. Does it deliver as an alternative to AHAs and uh, retinol? I would say as an alternative to AHA, I would agree that it is actually a nice gentle alternative. I'm not sure about the retinol claims. And that I think more has to do with needing to use this more uh, consistently and for a longer period of time. It's only been about a month and a half for me. So I don't know about the retinal benefits, but for sure it gives me the benefits like an AHA product would. It does help with dead skin cell shedding. It does help to renew brighter, clearer skin. It has even helped where I've had a little bit of like um, congestion on my skin. I can see the clogged pores are starting to build up and get a little bit bigger and more visible on my skin using this even just one night kind of helps to um, calm that down just a little bit because it is initiating some some exfoliation on the skin and that definitely helps I've actually been using this a lot I'll do full face application but one of my favorite ways to use this is actually just to target my nose because it's getting so cloggy right now um, because I think I have to put so much moisturizing skincare to keep my skin like in balance I think that without a good exfoliation routine behind that it can you know clog up your skin if you're prone to it which I am so I definitely need a little extra help around my nose uh, during this season and this has definitely been helping with that but I don't have to worry about getting really like raw like cracked skin around my nose that area gets so delicate in the winter this isn't like flaring that up at all but it's helping to smooth everything out helping to clear out those pores helping to kind of refine the look of the enlarged pores too like I'm really impressed with how this rejuvenates and refreshes the skin it definitely helps to give that like that brighter glow to the skin too and I like the texture of this because it's not super watery and it's not super thick it's not oily like but it's got like a creaminess to it that feels good in the winter time and if you do like to use this like in an isolated location a less runny texture is actually ideal for just like isolated application so I really like it for that too I've just been impressed with it there's some really interesting ingredients in here too that I, I want to report the benefits of this like in an empties video do you know what I mean when I've used this whole thing up and I can really say like oh yeah it worked on this and it worked on that or I've noticed long-term this I can't tell you that right now but there's some really interesting peptides in here that claim to stimulate collagen that help with fine lines that help with wrinkles that help with elasticity firmness that help with hyperpigmentation some really new novel um, peptides that I think are actually really promising that's what I really expect from Neod you know I expect results uh, definitely for the price point I expect results I expect something that intrigues me like on an ingredient level and I expect them to take risks and to try new things and to try different formulations that you maybe don't see in other products and so this definitely lives up to to what I expect from a brand like Neod it's definitely trying out something new but still delivering on what it claims to deliver and Honestly, like we're at the end of December going into January still a few months of winter ahead of us and like to have a gentle exfoliating product like this on hand that I know is not going to irritate my skin. 
this is a winter skin saver. And I want to talk about a makeup slash skincare product. Ooh, this is the Peace Out Instant Pore Perfector. So this is a trend that I'm seeing in makeup a lot recently that I love. Um, I've been noticing over the last couple of years this beautiful marriage of skincare ingredients in makeup products. And I think that that's so great. Not necessarily because you're going to get a lot of benefits from putting like this is a primer, you know, putting this on your skin and getting the skincare benefits probably not but I do find that the products that are more skincare and makeup hybrids do tend to be a lot gentler on the skin they often are not containing fragrance or fragrant compounds nothing against those by the way but like they do irritate my skin the fragrant compounds especially um, I they used to lurk in a lot of my base makeup products for many years I couldn't figure out why my foundation was making my skin feel really itchy after a couple of hours and it was because of those fragrant compounds Once once I figured out to not, you know, to find, it's hard to find foundations without those in it. My skin is so much more comfortable. So anyways, it's kind of like a long story, but I do really appreciate this trend. I like it. I think it creates comfier, more skin friendly makeup products. And that's a good thing. If you like skincare and you like to take care of your skin, but you also enjoy makeup, like, hello, I enjoy makeup. I want to know that what I'm putting on my skin is, you know, my makeup is not like undoing all the skincare work that I do before that. Anyways, so this has niacinamide in it. It has mushroom extract in it. I'm not too concerned about those ingredients giving me benefits, but I actually think this is a really nice skin friendly primer um, that actually it, it works great underneath foundation. I'm wearing it today. I think it makes my foundation grip to my skin really nicely. It makes it last longer. I do have a tendency, even though I'm always complaining about my dry skin, I do have a tendency when I'm wearing makeup that the oils on my skin actually break the makeup up and it gets really patchy and cakey on my skin um, a good primer will actually uh, sidestep that and this definitely does I'm not getting that breakup of my makeup when I use this so that's awesome longevity it's got great grip it it really makes my foundation look really nice and smooth but it actually has a nice benefit even if you're not gonna wear like a full face of foundation because when you put this on it has it has this great texture. You know those primers that feel real thick like spackle that are meant to like fill in all your pores and imperfections and really smooth out your skin, but they feel so thick and like dry and like kind of hard to spread on the skin. It's so silicone-y. This is actually, it has some of that. It has some of that silicone-iness, but it's been like, it's just been balanced out in a great like kind of creamy type of way so it spreads really nicely it sits on the skin in a really almost like invisible very light layer but you still get that skin smoothing effect and because it has like a smoothing sort of effect at the the surface of your skin it actually even has like a light reflecting or deflecting quality not deflecting a light reflecting quality <laughs> Um, what I mean to say is it almost bounces light off of your skin and so it actually makes your skin look more radiant. There's a little bit of a flesh tint to this. It doesn't make your skin darker, but there's a little bit of a flesh tint to it so that it actually has some color correction. So if you have a little bit of redness on your skin, even just putting this on just kind of helps to um, kind of mask that just a little bit. It doesn't cover it up, it just kind of evens it out on your skin and then you get the, the light reflection. So that really helps make your skin look more radiant, more smooth, more even toned. It's got a really nice effect even without a foundation on top. This has actually been nice too, just a couple dots of concealer if you need a little extra coverage but you don't need a full face. Just makes your skin look better in a really nice natural way that is breathable that is light um, and it doesn't have any of the icky stuff that I'm always trying to avoid in my skincare and I'm always trying to avoid in my makeup but can make my choices really limited this is awesome I am really really loving this so I can't believe we are coming to the end of December of 2022 we're coming to the end of another year and quite a year it's been right i'm certainly not on the scale <laughs> of the last couple of years that we've had but it's definitely had its ups it's definitely had its downs now if you are looking for the best of 2022 all of the product lineups and all the things that i think were the best from the year that video is coming out it's going to be the very next video that i release so make sure that you are subscribed and turn on notifications it's coming so soon, I promise you. I think the statistic is that like 80% of New Year's resolutions fail by February. And there's a whole like host of reasons why that may be, but I honestly think 
you know, for me personally, I can tell you that I can sometimes have this mindset of like all or nothing. I am so much like that person who wants to do things perfectly that I want to like to do things right. Um, and sometimes my ability to do things perfectly or full out or right um, is not possible. You know, maybe it's just I don't have enough energy, I don't have enough time, like whatever it may be. And if I feel like I can't go full out if I can't do things perfectly, I won't do them at all. And I think that's a, a big reason why sometimes I can't get projects off the ground soon enough or why I hold myself back from certain things or I get myself like I get in the way of my own self sometimes because I'm so wrapped up in the idea of doing things perfectly and doing it right. And something I've been thinking about a lot in the last actually couple of months is the idea of taking imperfect action on the things that I want to achieve and allowing myself to be imperfect in my actions as I move forward. Um, you know, I'm not taking the perfect action to get the project off the ground. It may not look how I want it to, but like I'm going to take the action because ultimately at the end of the day, doing something you know, even if it's not the most perfect thing, doing something is actually still moving the needle forward to what you want to achieve, right? Like done is better than perfect, right? So like, don't get so wrapped up as you're setting your intentions for the, the coming year and the things you want to achieve and how you want to grow as a person. Don't get wrapped up in perfection. It's really not something that exists. If I've learned anything from my skincare journey, like perfect, like perfect skin doesn't exist, right? But we can make a lot of improvements. Um, and we can make meaningful differences and changes on our skin as we kind of take that imperfect action step by step, trying different products, trying different combinations, learning to lean into our skin tuition and the knowledge that we have about our skin in any given season and being able to tailor our routines to that, right? That journey is an imperfect journey. And the end goal is not perfect skin because it doesn't exist. So it's kind of the same in life, right? the end goal is never going to look the way that we thought it was going to. But if we don't ever try because we're too afraid of failing or we're too afraid of like not being perfect or doing things right, whatever that means, we're not actually ever going to move any closer to those achievements or to those goals or to that dream. So we have to release this mindset of perfection. It doesn't exist and really just embrace what are those small baby steps? What are those imperfect actions that I can take towards what I'm trying to achieve today? It may not be the most perfect thing that I, that I wish I could do, but what, what is within my power today? What is within my boundaries and my energy levels and my bandwidth today that I can do? And really allow yourself to take that imperfect action and like actually celebrate yourself for taking any type of action and just keep putting one foot in front of the other. That's really what it takes. And um, I just wanna remind you of that because perfection, it doesn't exist. So let me know all your favorite products from December in the comment box below. If you made it this far in the video, you even watched that little speech about imperfect action. I feel like we have a vibe. I feel like we have a connection. I would be so honored if you would hit subscribe before you go. I release a lot of new skincare, self-care, shorts, full length videos throughout the week. So if you want to turn on notifications, you'll never be out of the loop. I will see you for the best of 2022 shortly. But if I don't see you before then, I hope you have a safe, healthy, happy new year. And I love you so much. Bye.